Jay Rajagopal. I'm an investigator here at the Center for Regenerative Medicine at Mass General Hospital. And I'm also in the Adult uh, Pulmonary and Critical Care Unit here at the hospital. And what I wanted to talk to you today about was um, a, a new human platform that we've come up for dissecting human lung disease. In the early part of my career, what I had studied was how to build a lung from scratch. That is to say, how the mouse embryo builds a lung. So, since we learned the signals that make a mouse stem cell turn into a lung, we applied those same signals to our human stem cells that came from the skin of patients. And much to our delight, we were actually able to convert those human stem cells from cystic fibrosis patients into airway epithelium. So we think we've solved a major problem in CF biology and in therapeutic discovery. Because before, what was an unbelievably difficult problem, that is getting access to human airway tissue, now becomes much, much easier. In fact, I think in the next few years it should almost be uh, in the format of a kit uh, that will allow you to take a sample from a patient and have nearly indefinite amounts of airway tissue from them. That means we can study that airway tissue for the first time in the laboratory, and we can do as many tests as we want to do on that. And most excitingly, I think we can screen for new therapeutic agents to treat cystic fibrosis. And indeed, this is a form of personalized medicine, or at least allows us to think about finding drugs or therapies for particular patients, since we have their stem cells, and therefore their airway epithelium. Now, it's probably true that in modern drug therapy, one size doesn't fit all. And just because drug 42 works in Annie, it doesn't mean that drug 42 is going to work in David. Now we have the possibility, because we can grow both of their airway epithelium outside a dish, to figure out whether there's drugs that would work in one patient, or another patient, or in fact in all patients. So we're very excited by the possibilities for kind of exploring therapies for cystic fibrosis. I think more generally, this same technology could be applied to lung cancer, or chronic bronchitis, or asthma, or any myriad of lung diseases that we really don't understand at all. In fact, now, this lets us do the biology that we could never do before to figure out what these diseases are really all about.